The Nbaskas organization is a family of nations. The revered Father Quaranta was being more than just prophetic when he had this done more than 55 years ago. In the early 60s, the Salesians of Don Bosco were among the fastest growing congregations for men in the church, making their youthful presence felt in many countries all over the world. The Salesians of Don Bosco, or SDB for short, are now working in 131 countries in the world, with Azerbaijan, Kuwait, Mauritius, Malaysia, and Mongolia as among the latest in the growing list. The Bosco became a household name all over. In a very real sense, the Bosco was among the first global brands the world has known, along the lines of Fiat and Colgate. As of latest count, there are now more than 3,200 schools and more than 592 standalone training centers the world over. The Philippines is among those countries graced with Salesian presence. Salesian work began in Philippine shores in 1951 when Tarlac was designated as the first firm foothold of the Salesians, followed by Victorious the following year. Tarlac's story was that of a hand-me-down, small school founded in 1947 by American U.S. Army Chaplain Father James Wilson. Two Salesians from the United States were eventually sent to Tarlac to continue school operations of the St. John Bosco Academy, which eventually became Don Bosco Technical Institute. The Bosco Technical Institute of Victorias, Negros Occidental, initially led the pack and became what Don Bosco was eventually going to make a name for, the dual technical academic secondary curriculum that was an absolute novelty back then. The generosity of the Osorio and mapmaking clans of the Victorias Milling Company or Vicnico made DBTI Victorias an undisputed standard bearer of technical academic basic education all over Asia in the more than two decades following its official foundation in 1952. It was a story like that of the fabled growth of the Salesian congregation referred to by Bishop Fulton Shin as reminiscent of the multiplication of the loaves. The Bosco Technical Institute of Mandaluyong followed suit in 1953, described by then regional superior Father Mario Aquistapache as the de facto mother house of the Salesians in the Philippines. Don Bosco in Mandaluyong was another providential hand-me-down story. It was the then Archbishop of Manila, Rufino J. Santos, who facilitated the transfer of the old San Carlos Seminary into the hands of the ready, willing, and enthusiastic early Salesians who immediately worked indefatigably to run both a school and a youth center. From then, it was a story of a steady stream of growth and expansion. Don Bosco Technical Institute, Makati, and Don Bosco Technical Institute, Cebu Boys Town, followed suit in 1954. And Don Bosco Academy in Bacalor, Pampanga, opened in 1956. Followed seven years after by Don Bosco College Seminary of Canlubang in 1963, and the Don Bosco Missionary Seminary in Lawaan, Cebu in 1975, and the Don Bosco Academy Mabalakat in 1997. Many more followed, and in the ensuing years, a significant number of educational centers opened by the Salesians of Don Bosco took on a more focused vision of helping the poorest of the poor via what used to be known as manpower training centers, or more properly known now as TVET centers. 
standalone technical educational and vocational training centers practically sprouted all over the country in diverse places like San Jose, Nueva Ecija, Legaspi City in Albay, Carolina in Naga, Camarines Sur, Calawan in Laguna, Pasil in Cebu City, Mati in Davao Oriental, Borongan in Eastern Summer, Dumangas in Iloilo, and many others. The latest venture being that of Manawag, Pangasinan. All the Tibet centers throughout the country, more than 20 strong, are now known as the Don Bosco One Tibet. All of them, including the DB1 Tibet, are now collectively known as the Don Bosco Educational Centers Philippines Incorporated, or simply DBEC. The DBEC is now the authorized brand and standard bearer of all Don Bosco schools and training centers in the Philippines. Also, the regular members, for the meantime, are all those found in the northern province based in Manila. All others are generally considered putative members, and all, without exception, share in their branding and visibility as legitimate solution owned school. Regular members share in the duties, responsibilities, and privileges as full-fledged members, and they share in the association's positioning in addition to branding and visibility. To assure consistency in branding and consequent visibility, DBEC adopts a visual identity system that will henceforth govern all DBECs in terms of representation and marketing. DBEC shares in the Church's goal of new evangelization. At Don Bosco, we educate by evangelizing. And we evangelize by educating. Committed to inculcating the core values of spirituality for faith, integrity for character, and competence for productivity. DBEC sets out working on the best practices established over the years towards the pursuit of cutting-edge technological and technical education aptly represented by the symbol of a gear and a vigorous academic preparation represented by the laurel leaves. Both the old and the new logos have these features. In the new approved logo that will soon take the place of the old, we see the saint and the man represented in the old by his silhouette, now represented by the letters D and B, recognizable all over the world as simply Don Bosco. From this same great educator, the father and teacher of youth, comes the legacy of the fidelity to the church and her teachings, represented by the cross that juts out prominently from the core. The laurel leaves now do not close the circle, but wind symbolically towards an undefined summit, suggestive of the idea that education is a never-ending, lifelong process that begins and ends with God the Creator, again reminding everyone that the goal and summit of all education is life in its fullness. We at Don Bosco Educational Centers Philippines Incorporated, educate for life. Pro Semper Juventus, at Semper Vitam.